A Romanian pastor recently shared uh, that he had a kitten that climbed up a tree in his backyard and then was afraid it would come down. The pastor coaxed, offered warm milk, and so on, but the kitty would not come down. And the tree was not sturdy enough for anyone to climb, so the pastor thought if he tied a rope to the branch of the tree and the, the other end of the rope to his car, and if he pulled it until the tree bent down, then he could reach up and get the kitten. And that's what he did, all the while checking his progress in the car. He then figured that if he went just a little bit further, the tree would bend sufficiently for him to reach the kitten. But as he moved the car a little further forward, the rope broke. The tree went and the kitten instantly sailed through the air out of sight. The pastor felt terrible. He walked all over the neighborhood asking people if they'd seen his little kitten. No, nobody had seen a stray kitten. So he prayed, Lord, I just commit this kitten to your keeping. And he went on his business. A few days later, he was in the grocery store and he met one of his church members. And he happened to look into her shopping cart and was amazed to see she had cat food. Now he knew that this woman was a cat hater and everyone else knew it. So he asked her, why are you buying cat food when you hate cats so much? She said, you won't believe this. And then she told how her little girl had been begging her for a cat, but she kept refusing. A few days before, the child had begged again, so the mother finally said to her little girl, well, if God gives you a cat, I'll let you keep it. She told the pastor, I watched as my daughter went out into the yard and got on her knees, and she asked God for a cat. And pastor, you won't believe this, but I saw it with my own eyes. A kitten suddenly came flying out of the blue sky with its paws outspread, and landed right in front of her. <laughs>